Hello, hello everybody. I have a jewelry jar to open and I have not opened it yet. I just took the tape off. So we're going to open it together and you guys can tell me what you think. If we got anything good or if it was just a bust. So let's see. Let's get started. Okay. So first off on top, we have a little bag here and it looks like it's a little necklace with some earrings and it has the little peace signs on it. So that's what that is. Looks like a little necklace and earring set with the peace sign. Okay, so that's that. That's the first thing I found in here. All right, next up, let's see, I found a loose earring. All right, I'm gonna start digging in here and pulling some stuff out. Looks like we have a Victorian style lace like choker here a little choker type i used to wear these when i was younger what about you guys did you guys wear chokers when you were younger okay so there's that now we have a little uh this looks like a stone maybe jasper or uh agate an agate it looks like and it's a little necklace with a screw barrel clasp. And I may have to test this because this may be silver. Cute little necklace. So there's that. Okay. Let's see what else. Another earring here. Oh, here's the match to that one. Cute little, like, baby blue colored dangle earrings. Okay. Here is some more earrings that I'm pulling off the top here of the jar. Here's the match to this one. Just like a faux turquoise style. I believe that's acrylic, but they're cute. Southwestern style. So that's those. And then we have some, looks like AB and clear rhinestone post back earrings, silver tone. So that's that. Let's see what else we can get into in this jar here. Okay, and if you see something you like, uh, feel free to email me. Everything that I show and usually everything that I wear is uh, available for sale. Okay, I found another cute little earring. It has a butterfly on it. Super cute. Okay. What is this here? Hmm, that looks like some type of key ring, maybe, to put, uh, like, a keychain. And we have this cute little stretchy bracelet with little faceted beads on there. Cute. Okay, a little uh, gold tone bangle, it looks like, we found here. All right, I found another earring. Let's see if we can find the match in another one to those this looks like a little um scatter pin it says clift on the back and it's a, like a little silver tone puzzle piece so there's that it's always fun looking through jewelry jars to see what kind of goodies and treasures may be inside okay this says accessory connection and it has the southwestern style looks like a faux white uh, white turquoise with the bull style there. And there's some roses on there. Cute Southwestern style earrings. Okay. We have a little pendant. Kind of looks like a tooth, an animal tooth. And it is marked aaglobal.com China. So there's that. I'm gonna have to clear the screen here for a minute. It's getting kind of cluttered. Okay, West Coast Choppers, and it looks like a bicycle chain. Um, I'm going to say this is, huh, maybe, I don't know, it looks kind of small for a bracelet. What do you guys think? Made in China, and uh, some of this could probably use a cleaning, so like I said, I just opened this jar. Let's make a little room for some more goodies to look at. I'll leave the earrings that we haven't found a match to here for a moment. OK, 
Okay, we have the matches to these guys. That's a good thing to find the matches, huh? Okay. All right, now we have a little angel pendant necklace. It says, Oh, angel of God, protect my way. Keep me close to Jesus today. Amen. And there we go. It's focusing there. Little pendant necklace. Cute. Okay. Let's see what else. Looks like another one of those key rings. I'm thinking that's what it is because it looks like it opens up. I see little hinges. It says ICM stainless steel china on there. And it looks like it opens. I don't want to take too much time playing with it at the moment. But I'll check it out later. Okay, this is cute. It's a little pink and blue wooden necklace. Really cute. Nice length on it. All right, let's see what other goodies we have. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I miss you guys. Okay, this could use a little cleaning. It's a little silver tone bracelet. It looks like it is signed something. Oh man, I might need to get my loop. I think that says Monet on that cute bracelet. Keep slipping out my hand. Sorry about that. Has a uh, fold over clasp. Yes, that's Monet. It just needs a little cleaning. Cute. So I have that Monet bracelet with the links. Okay. Next up, I found, of course, another bangle. This one's kind of like a looks like a it's got a little blue coloring on it in gold tone or brass maybe okay then here oh here's the other earring that's cute there's the other earring to that one so we found that those are cute okay and then let's see I move some of this stuff find some more goodies we're still looking for these two guys okay it's cute as it a little flower oh it's kind of going out of focus there we go back in focus okay this looks like a little seed bead um, necklace a little seed bead necklace it's a cute little seed bead necklace okay oh I found another earring here's the match nope this is a different one I thought that was the match to that reddish orange one, but this is actually a different one. And here's the match. And those are post, post earrings, like a brass tone color. Those are cute. Okay, what's this? It looks like some glass pearls and an earring stuck to it. Magnetic clasp. That's why the earring was stuck to it. That's cute. And those are hand knotted in between each glass pearl there. So there's that. Okay. And let's see what else we can find. All right. We're not quite halfway through the jar. Some of it's a little tangled. I did not pre-prep because I like to open it up with you guys so I'm not... I'm not, you know, I'm seeing it with you. So if I see, I'm surprised genuinely, you know, it's together at the same time. Okay, so we will have to untangle some things together here. Let's see. It looks like another one of those rings. Hmm, except this one has some texture to it. Whereas the other ones had like a flat silver tone texture. See, we have a little bit of, so what I do sometimes to untangle them, I will unhook the necklace, the hooks, and generally that kind of frees a lot of them up like it just did. So I don't know if you guys have little secret tricks to untangling, but you feel free to share in the comments. Okay, so this one has glass and looks like some type of ceramic or porcelain on here, and it has little charms silver tone so that's a little necklace and lay it here so you can see that that's cute cute little necklace okay 
And then the other one that was tangled with it, this one's a longer one. Let's see. I'm going to kind of like double, see if I can double it over here a little bit so we can see. It's got like little silver charmies on it and little blue AB finish beads and some blue beads and little uh, silver discs in between. And then it's kind of stationed with the little danglies um, on each side going up, stationed that way. It's a nice long one. So that's a cute little necklace. Okay. All right, let's see what else we can find. Move these earrings off to the side over here. Kind of getting in the way. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Some more tangles. That's a, oh, nope. Actually, that's one whole necklace. Thought that was tangles at first. Okay, it's not too bad. The tangle, what I thought was tangle. All right. This is kind of like a Chico style necklace, it looks like to me. Very elaborate and ornate. And it has these blue cabs. It's got a lot going on. Multi strand on the bottom. So it's a nice long one. Okay, so we have that necklace. Got a lot going on with that one. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have. Looks like we're getting into another earring here and some seed bead. Let's see if I can straighten this out. Seed bead necklace. So it's a long and it starts off beaded like that and then goes down into multi strands of seed bead. So that's a nice long one there. It needs to be hung up. When they're in the jar like that, all squished, it makes them kind of curvy. So you have to hang them and let, the, um, let them fall out a little bit, you know? Okay. So let's see what else we have in here. So no, so far we haven't run into, I think maybe a possible, so one possible silver necklace, possibly, so far. And no gold. <laughs> okay. So that's okay. So we have a multi-strand necklace here, okay, with turquoise colors, and it has seed beads and such. So a multi-strand necklace. So we have that, okay. Now we're getting down into the bottom, you guys, of this jar here, okay. Let's see what else we have. All right. Looks like another bracelet here this one is a stretchy it's like there's a little wear to this one so i would put this one in the craft jar stuff like that i put in the craft jar and i do have a lot of craft jars if anybody likes to craft and is interested you can email me about that as well i have tons of crafts okay so that's a necklace there with some shell and some more shell this uh seems like acrylic yes i'd say acrylic but it's a cute boho style necklace and let's see i think i see a tag here this is leah sophia this one is made by leah sophia okay so we have that one okay let's see if i could pull it down and show you the top see it's a chain and then kind of goes into the shells and such nice long one Okay, so we have that one, and then this here, let's see, this kind of looks like it's falling apart. I definitely say this would go in craft, but there's a lot of beads on there to craft with. It's a multi-strand stretchy bracelet, which looks like it, it's kind of lost it, a lot of its elasticity, so that's going to go ahead and go in the craft jar, okay? All right, so let's see what's left. We have another necklace here. This one looks like it is silver tone with some black beads on there. So we have that. Looks like it has a lobster claw closure. This one has a little bit of color loss. I would probably put that one, I'd say, in the craft jar. 
If I see color loss, I like to add things like that to the craft jar. Or, you know, repair or what, whatever people want to do with it. Then we have this tassel necklace here. A little tassel necklace. Okay. So there's that. Lobster claw closure on that one. Okay, and that looks like a gold tone one. All right. I'll probably put that one in the craft unless someone said they would like it. Okay. Then this one's cute. This one shells with the peach colors. Pinky peach colors. Cute. Silver tone. That's a little necklace. And that's the top. There's the links there. It has a little extension. Okay. So we have that. And then, let's see, what else is in here? Okay, we're getting to the last bits here. Let's see. Okay, I'm pulling it out so we can see what it is. Okay, so it looks like we found the match to this earring down in the bottom there. So we have those post earrings. Okay, um, let's see, a piece of trash there. We don't need that. A pair of stud earrings. That'll probably go in craft. Okay. Let's see what else. I have not found the uh, matches to these two. So I will put the... I have also started a single earring bag. I will keep those for people that like to um, buy just the single earrings to work with. Okay. We have a silver tone bangle here it looks like. And then let me see if I can straighten this one out for you to see. This one is, it looks like, okay, I'm trying to see here. Oh, it looks like it is a triple strand necklace. Oops, sorry about that. A triple strand necklace. Let me see if I can get the hook there. There's a lobster hawk claw right there. And it's a blue and green shell necklace. And there's three strands to that one. So that's what that one is. And that's the last piece to that jar. So tell me uh, what you guys think. Was it a, a score or a bust? Was there anything good in this jar? Was it worth it? And uh, leave your comments in the comment sections. And remember how awesome you are, guys. See y'all soon. Miss you. Bye-bye.